Spring is here, spring is here. Spring is here, spring is here. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tiffany for those that are new. And welcome to a new video. I just, of course, want to thank my subscribers. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate your support. I am so blessed. And thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you're new here, you wouldn't know that one of my most favorite things to talk about is perfume, perfume, perfume. Yes. I love smelling good at any cost, any time, any day. Even if I'm chilling at home, I have to smell good. So with that being said, we know that spring is vastly approaching. Next week, it'll be spring. That's just how fast life is moving. So I am a Gourmand type of girl. I love Gourmand fragrances. Those are my thing. Anything to smell yummy, I love. Although those are my favorite notes, I do also have some fragrances that consist of fresh notes, fruity notes, and floral notes. I wear my fragrances no matter the season, time, or day. So for the ones that are more specific, these are the fragrances that you would typically wear for the springtime and yeah so we're just gonna hop right into it i'm just gonna start off with a perfume that is very sentimental to my collection and it is the chance oh my gosh this is the pink chance and when i tell you this is really the only chanel fragrance that i can wear because all of the other ones well coco mademoiselle is okay but this one right here no other Chanel perfume is touching it. This is one of my most favorite perfumes. And it's so sentimental to me because this is my first big girl perfume. And this is the perfume that got me started with collecting fragrances. After I smelled this, oh, it was on and popping. As you can see, it's only a teardrop left in here. That is because I wear this fragrance out. I wear this fragrance down. I wear this fragrance all year. This is an all year fragrance in my opinion, but it is so beautiful in the spring and summer months. Like it's so fresh. It's a fresh, pretty fragrance. Like it smells the best. Every it girl should have this perfume in their collection. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you're a prissy type of girl, you definitely have this in your collection. If not, girl, this is the one to get. This is like my fifth bottle. And I do have another backup bottle. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce. So the price for the 3.4 fluid ounce from Ulta is $172 plus tax. The lasting power on this is crazy. I work with kids, I'm a teacher. And anytime and every time I put this on, baby, I am still smelling this. And it's like, girl, you done chased after the kids, y'all went outside, and you still smell good. And that is the ultimate goal, okay? Because you always want to be known as the girl that smells good. And this will help you achieve that goal, okay? This is also a huge compliment getter. It's nothing like getting a compliment on your fragrance because it just gives you a certain level of confidence. It lets you know that you're on your some fruit in here that I have to look up the notes I will we will be discussing the notes because y'all know that's one of my most favorite things to do when it comes to my perfume looking up the notes so we're about to get into that right now the main of course we have floral fruity citrus sweets fresh spicy whoa powdery white florals musky green iris and it's so crazy because I told you all that I'm not really a floral girl like I cannot stand floral perfumes or so I thought I just can't do just floral it has to have some type of sweetness or you know musk or something else added i just can't do florals alone that's that's it on the top notes we have quince grapefruit quince is like an exotic guava which is so nice because it smells so good for the middle notes we have hyacinth jasmine and for the base notes we have musk iris virginia cedar and amber they did they big one when they created this perfume if you're just getting into perfumes Mm, mm, mm. this is the one to get y'all i'm telling you this perfume reminds me of the girl that's spoiled that always get what she wants she's not taking no for an answer because with me smelling like this how could you say no to me you know what i mean so if you don't want to spend that type of money or if you are just getting into perfumes and you're like hold on take it easy i do have another alternative to the chanel chance and it is called <laughs> apple juice from zara when i tell you this is the exact the exact dupe to this fragrance right here and i really don't even get into all the dupes like that because i just want the original thing but baby 
this is the most like they might as well just take this juice and put it in here because it just smells that much alike it smells so good like baby I will say that this one is a tad bit more fruitier and it doesn't last as long as the Chanel Chance on my skin but it still gets the job done like this right here is so good but if you are a fragrance collector like me of course you would you know get both bottles but this right here is so good so good for the main of course in the Zara perfume you have fruity fresh citrus rose floral green powdery musky fresh spicy and woody so they have pretty much similar um mana chords for the top notes you have apple grapefruit and orange middle notes you have peony rose jasmine violet and for the base notes you have musk sandalwood and cedar that's why they smell so much alike i really prefer the look of the chanel bottle it's so cute it's so dainty and it's like pretty girl this one is just giving me a box cute okay this is very affordable. Total price for this was $19.90, which is not bad at all for a fragrance, especially a fragrance that smells really good. So, baby, this is the one to get, I'm telling you. This is like a fresh spring day. Like, the days that are coming up, a fresh spring day, put this on and you're good. You're gonna match the season, okay? The next fragrance that I'll be wearing this spring is also another affordable one, and this is called Seductive Red by Guess, y'all. This right here smells so good. This is the most fresh cherry Jolly Rancher perfume. I saw so many reviews about it being good, like fruity, and like a Jolly Rancher. And I was like, hmm, I like Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Rancher smells so good. I wouldn't mind smelling like a Jolly Rancher, okay? So once I got my order, guess what I did? <laughs> I got the biggest bottle that I could find, baby, because this smells so good. Good. it smells so realistic if you want to smell like a cherry jolly rancher a fresh cherry jolly rancher this is what you need this will get the job done even the bottle is telling you hey girl you're gonna smell like a cherry it smells so bomb like if you're into fruity fragrances like and this is not like a cherry that's that smells like cough syrup this is like candiest fragrance that you can smell and I know that candiest might not be a word, but stick with me, okay? Stick with me. Mm. Now, I'm kind of getting like a floral note in here. So, we're going to look at the notes to see if I'm correct. For the main, of course, in the seductive red, we have cherry. Cherry is at the top, baby. I'm telling you. Cherry, sweet, vanilla, almond, floral, fruity, nutty, powdery, woody, fresh. So, for the top notes, we have cherry, almond, and pink pepper. The middle notes, you have cherry blossom, violet, and magnolia. For the base notes, you have vanilla, tonka bean, and sandalwood. And baby, that vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, cherry, and what else? Cherry and almond mixed together with this. Mm -mm. Chef's kiss. This perfume eats down. It smells so good so this is the one fluid ounce and this is the 2.5 fluid ounce go ahead and get your hands on this if you love a good cherry jolly retro type of fragrance this screams fun girl like if you're fun if you want to have a good time if you're a fun girl i was gonna save this perfume for last but i just can't wait to get into it now i will go ahead and pre-warn you that this fragrance is one of the most expensive fragrances that i have in my collection but when i tell you this is like number one it's number one are you ready this is my louis vuitton symphony oh my goodness like i told you all i am a gourmand girly those are my thing but this even beats my gourmand fragrances this is my favorite perfume of all time so the total price for this perfume was 560 dollars plus tax yes 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 i know that it's very steep but the juice in here is so good like so good and i'm trying to hang on to the little bit that i have because the refill is 375 dollars i'm not ready to pay for that yet but baby when the time comes she will be getting refilled okay um i also did get my initials engraved on my perfume bottle i also did a fragrance review on this perfume so if you would love to get more details about this you can check that video out i will leave it in the description box below 
But y'all, look at this bottle. I'm still trying to debate on if I like it. It's supposed to be like a flower dancing in water or something like that, but I don't know. The juice though? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This right here is beast mode. Every single time, I don't care where I am, I could be anywhere where a person is around. I'm going to get a compliment on my fragrance. Like this is a compliment magnet. It smells so good. Somebody just recently commented on my video and told me that they got chased down in Best Buy, in the Best Buy parking lot, because somebody wanted to know what they had on. When I tell you this fragrance is like that, it smells so good. Like this is my favorite, 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 favorite perfume of all time. Hands down. When I smell this perfume in sex, I was like, mm, it's okay. When I go to sex, I just smell so many different things. So I guess I was kind of nose blind to this. But this fragrance lasted so long and I took the test to strip home. I had to go back the next day to figure out what this perfume was. Because, you know, you just spray so many things you can't remember. You're not writing nothing down. Y'all, I look like a mad woman in that Louis Vuitton store because I was just trying to figure out what the smell was. And when I found it, thank you. I got it, okay? For the main, of course, we have citrus, fresh, spicy. What's up with all this fresh, spicy? You see, there's a theme going along here, okay? Warm, spicy, and aromatic. For the, so, oh my gosh. I forgot, they only list three notes in this perfume, and you have grapefruit, bergamot, and ginger. That's it, that's all. And when I tell you, this is the most supreme grapefruit, the most supreme bergamot, and the most supreme ginger. It's to live for. I know this perfume is very expensive, but if you have a chance to experience this perfume, like, I don't think you will be disappointed. It smells so good. It smells so fresh, so citrusy. And I'm not really, I don't get into citrusies like that. Sometimes they tend to lean a little bit musky or musty on my skin. And I can't give it that. So the grapefruit or the fruity notes, citrusy notes has to be done right in order for it to work with me and baby. This is literal gold. If you love getting compliments on your fragrance, which I do, you want to get your hands on this. I'm telling you, every single time I put this on, somebody is telling me how good I smell. There's so many stories about compliments that I've gotten from this perfume, but we will be here all day. So we're just gonna move on. Like I said, this is my number one fragrance like of all time. Last fragrance that I'll be talking about for this video, I will be coming back with a part two because I have many more fragrances to show you all. It's called Dylan Purple. Dylan Purple is so good. Like this is the most juiciest. This is like the most juiciest watery fragrance that I have in my collection. It is so amazing. Y'all know I spray everything right there. This is bomb, baby. And as you can see, the juice, the dent is denty. This bottle is so beautiful. I love it. It's giving genie in a bottle, magic potion. And to be honest, I wasn't even supposed and to be honest, I wasn't even supposed to have this fragrance in my collection because I actually went up to Macy's out of Perimeter Mall to pick up a different fragrance. But the lady was stalking me down so bad to get me to smell this. And I was like, okay, I'll smell it, baby. Instead of getting the fragrance I initially came for, I wouldn't have got this because this literally knocked me off my feet. And I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? What are the notes in here again? What did you say? Because at first I really wasn't listening to her because I knew that I was going to get one specific perfume. But baby, when she sprayed this, I was all up in her face, okay? It's such a juicy fruit, juicy fruit, watery fragrance. This is another one that I don't see how no one could like. And this is also a great starter perfume. And this one is also a compliment getter. For pretty much all the fragrances that I wear, I get compliments on. But I will have to say that out of all the Versace perfumes that I have in my collection, and really just the Versace perfumes in general, Dylan Purple is my favorite one. Like, out of all of them. This is that girl. It lasts long. It smells good. And it just does something to me, y'all. So the main course in here, you have floral, fruity, citrus, amber, musky, woody, sweet, fresh, aquatic, and spicy. See? Juice, like I told you, a juicy, watery fruit. 
this is that. For the top notes, we have pear, bergamot, and bitter orange. And I absolutely love pear in the fragrance. Pear is such a beautiful note in the fragrance, y'all. The middle notes, we have freesia, pomer rose, and mahonio. I think I'm saying that right. Oh, the base notes, we have ambroxan. And I love ambroxan, y'all. Um, then you have iso e super, virginia cedar, and alumbra tree. Haven't heard of that note before. You just, I love looking at the notes, y'all, because I'm just like, how did y'all put these notes together and say, yeah, that's the one? It's so amazing to me. So, yes, that was the end of this video. Like I said, I will be back with a part two. I probably have a series to this video because I have so many perfumes, y'all. And I don't want to bore you all with such a long video. But I will be back with a part two to my fragrances that I'll be wearing this spring. Let's talk in the comments, y'all. If you want to get your hands on these fragrances, if you have these fragrances, let me know. I love talking with y'all in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Oh, 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 oh.